Hi, welcome to LC Engineering. Today we're starting a stage two stroker engine build and we just wanted to take you through it step by step as we build it. Uh, this is basically how a core engine block shows up to our shop. As you can see, it's got years of uh, grease and grime on it. And uh, the first steps we do is we clean off the gasket surfaces, we pressure test the block, we check to make sure the main caps are tight, that the block hasn't been overheated, and uh, we check it for cracks. This is basically what the block looks like after it's been cleaned. As you can see, it's back down to the bare metal. We're using a late model 22R block, as you can tell by the bow tie on the side. The next phase will be to tap all the threaded holes on it, mainly the head bolt holes and the main bolt holes. That way when we torque uh, the head and the caps back on, we get a proper torque. The main caps have been bead blasted, so they're clean. Okay, the next step is going to be to chase the threads. This is an M12 by 1.25 bottoming tap that we use. And basically we want to just chase the thread and make sure that the thread is like new again. So when we go to torque the bolts back down, we get a proper torque. We'll do all of the head bolts this way, and then we will flip the block over and we'll do all the main bolts the same way. Now the next step in our process here is gonna be the boring bar. Now we've set the boring bar to cut 40 thousandths oversize, which is, I'm gonna leave myself a few thousandths to hone. Um, but we'll get the, the block board for the new pistons, which is a forged 40 over piston. And uh, this is the next step. So we'll go through the boring phase. And once this is finished up, then our next phase will be deburring the block and then uh, doing the deck on it. Now the next step is going to be, we're gonna completely deburr the inside of the block. And the reason we do that is we don't want any casting, flashing or anything coming loose after the engine's built, which will go into the oil and go through the bearings. Also, because this is a stroker, we have to grind out right here where the stroke of the crank and the rod throw is going to actually come out and it would actually hit this if we didn't remove some material on it. So we're removing the casting flash and we're clearancing this for the stroker application. Okay, as you can see, we've clearanced this now for the stroker crank. Deburred the block here, removed any of the slag or anything that could go into the, into the oil. And uh, now this block is ready to go and uh, have the deck surface on it. The next step in our 22R stroker engine build is going to be to surface the deck on the block. And with that, we use our, uh, our RMC diamond cut, uh, which leaves a, a RA finish smooth enough for all of the late model, newer style MLS gaskets. Um, we basically have set it up where we square the deck so it will be perfectly square with the crank. And we also machine it with the front cover installed so as it's coming off the face here it, it makes one surface for the front cover and the engine block. The next step is going to be to hone the block. And what we've done is we've set up our dial bore gauge with the actual piston dimension and then we've added the clearance that we want for the piston to wall clearance for the block. So with that, we'll take, set it, make sure our gauge is set, and then we're ready to start honing the block. Okay, what we do is we use a torque plate on our block, and then we also torque the main caps in place before we hone it. And what that does is it, it actually pulls the block into place like it's going to be assembled as it had a cylinder head and everything on it, because it'll actually distort the bores. So we want to make that distortion and then hone it so that we get a true round hole when the engine is assembled. Now what we do is we go through four different, three different stones, and then we actually go to, this is called a plateau, you know, hone brush for the new uh, gas nitride rings that we're using. And uh, it, it just allows for better ring seal. Okay, so now we're finishing up our hone on our, uh, on our 22R block. We just take one last measurement, make sure we're right on size. We check it in three different spots 
top, middle, bottom, and then we're going to turn it and make sure we're stayed round. Which we are right on the money here. And then we're going to finish up with a plateau finish, they call it. And this is the final brush. Okay, now we'll just remove the torque plate and uh, loosen it up and let the block drain the oil off here for a little bit. And uh, the next step is going to be the cleaning uh, phase of it, which is, uh, you know, it's very critical. Got to make sure the block is completely clean before we, uh, we start on assembly.